Hi guys, this is Smash King, and we're going to go over some conditional branches in this video and how to use them. Uh, <clears throat> kind of a video response to Sparky's. Uh, I have this video up here. We're going to do this uh, by integrating variables into the conditional branches to avoid using so many conditional branches. <laughs> okay, and the way we're going to do that is by using like items. Like items mean like when he used the crystals, uh, how he did crystal one, crystal two and crystal three as separate items when we can just do a certain amount of crystals uh, using variables in order to get the same effect so we're going to go ahead and I've already created all this I just was testing it out uh, we're just going to delete all these I have the events already made um, this is nails we're going to use some kinds of nails to create this bridge see what we're going to do in this uh, tutorial we're going to use a conditional branch to create a bridge and in order to create the bridge we need certain items in order to do that so um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, delete all this and clear everything out just so we can start from so we can start fresh uh, first of all I'm going to create the pile of wood so I already selected the graphic and we're going to create the pile of wood um, real quick here I'm going to create this pile of wood here and I made it directional fixed so that's uh, when you click on it from a different direction it's not going to change into the next graphic right next to it which is usually what it does so I'm going to make it directional fixed so it doesn't do that um, first of all we're going to uh, create a conditional branch for this event and we're going to go ahead and uh, go over to items. Now first thing I'm doing an item one, an item conditional branch. That's on the fourth tab. Uh, there's other things like gold, weapon, armor button, and we can go over those, but they pretty much work the same way. Um, <clears throat> in order to get this bridge built, we're going to want to do an axe and three nails. So how we're going to do that, we're going to go first of all, we're going to create the item. Uh, and this time, since you, uh, it's not going to require four items, it's only going to require two. Um, because there's two different types of items. One is the axe, and then one is going to be the nails. And so since nails are like items, we're going to use a variable with that. So we go into the items tab in the database and change the maximum number to 22. That brings us two blank items. First of all, we're going to set these both to consume no name this one a pickaxe and name the second one nails so on pickaxe we'll choose the, the item icon for axe or for the pickaxe and it's going to be right down here there we go okay so this is going to allow you to build basic stru uh, structures structures are obviously the bridge and consume no and really we just want to have that in our inventory just kind of like as, as an indicator when you get the item uh, you don't actually even need to have an item in order to make this event work uh, and for the nails since we don't have a nail shape and you can always edit this graphic and, and change like the dimensions if you you know edit it in like Photoshop or something like that for now we're gonna use like a basic graphic um, the sword as uh, the nails um, components for building basic structures okay so we got our items created and then we're going to go ahead and do this and in this event, we're only going to be able to only going to have to create uh, two conditional branches. So we are going to want to uh, edit this again because I put it on potion a second ago. So we're going to make that pickaxe for the first one, uh, and then we're going to insert another conditional branch. And this one's going to be um, actually a variable, and our variable is going to be named nails. So you click on this and make sure this one says nails. So you type in here nails 
and we're going to make it equal to a constant of 3, which means once you get 3 of, the, of that variable, which is a nail in this case, then it will trigger the event. So you make the variable nail, and we already made the uh, item conditional branch the x. So um, the nails in the items menu is just a placeholder so in your menu so that you can see how many nails you have. It's not actually uh, going to increase that item really necessarily, you know, because you can't use it anyways. But it's just an indicator, really. And you'll find out what I mean in just a second. Okay, so first branch, we're going to make uh, it say when you don't have the X, um, there's a log pile here. Um, I don't know. I need to get across, but I don't. Have the right materials. So it's hinting that you are going to get those items. And first of all, we have don't set a graphic, don't need that. The background, as we went over in some of my other videos, uh, this is this is um, I like to do transparent, kind of like as it's thought processing, uh, kind of like as transparent. So that's going to be under the else case, okay? The conditional branch, if you'll notice, has the conditional branch. And then after you have that item, there's one underneath it, then the else branch, or the else case. The else case over here is for the first one, the pickaxe. The else case in here is going to be for the variables, which is the nails. So when you don't have the axe, <clears throat> this is going to play. And when you don't have the nails, this is going to play. This is going to show up. We're going to do. Looks like it won't hold together at the moment, and I still need something else. And um, I'm cutting it off this first arrow, uh, like you might have seen in Sparky's video and my other videos, uh, so that it doesn't cut off, and it will cut off here. Uh, it's just for most standard screens. So, once you've gotten all three of these nails, uh, it's going to play whatever event or whatever is here. So, um, really, it's not going to need to play anything um, once you get the axe. Uh, it really doesn't need anything. So, once you get the axe, then it's just going to play this one. So, it's kind of like cutting out an event page. That's how conditional branches work. You're not using, there's other ways to uh, get around con conditional branches, but it's kind of easier to do conditional branches. So we're going to go uh, show, we're, we're going to make this um, move and kind of create itself in kind of like an animation. So in order to do that, we have to go into the second page, I believe. Yes. And then you click set move route. And this one's going to make sure you get. You're going to make sure you want to get it on this event. So click this event or event 001. It's going to have a whole list once you start creating events. Then you just make it this event. And first of all, we're going to make through on because it's going to have to move over an object um, that in your tile set is um, unable to to be moved over. Um, and if you don't, it's going to freeze up on you. So you want to make through on. And I'll uh, go over an example of that in a minute. And we're just going to move right, since it's to the left of the water. We're just going to move it one one space to the right. Um, and then we can put also in here, so that you don't do anything while it's doing this, uh, we're just going to put like a basic wait time for this. I'm going to make it 50, because I was doing it earlier and there was a little bit of a delay. But you want to make it fairly smooth, so you want to get those frames right. Um, I believe 60 frames equals one second. So let me go ahead. And after that, we're going to do a self switch. And as I went over in some of the other uh, videos, self switches are really simple.